The next iPhone release is getting closer and closer, and there are new rumors of some pretty radical changes coming. So what we are currently expecting is three new iPhones. Two are an update to the current iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and we are also expecting a third, more premium iPhone. This one would feature a new design with an edge-to-edge -edge OLED display and glass enclosure. What's new though, is that according to analyst Ming Chi Kuo, this new iPhone won't feature Touch ID underneath the display like originally thought, but instead the new iPhone would feature a new improved facial recognition system to replace Touch ID altogether. This is also backed up by Bloomberg, and this feature is reported to be built in with the front-facing camera. The sensor is said to be able to unlock your phone in a matter of milliseconds, and it will use 3D scanning, which will allow it to be much more secure and be able to work in a multitude of scenarios, like when laying flat on a table. Earlier this year, Samsung released their Galaxy S8, which featured face scanning, but that was easily tricked with a photo. Apple's solution, however, is said to be much more secure than that, and use IR sensors and 3D scanning so that a 2D photo can't trick it. The question though is, what will happen to Touch ID? The latest report says this facial recognition will replace Touch ID altogether, but Bloomberg also says this feature is still in testing, so it's hard to know which direction Apple will take. Originally, there were reports of Touch ID being embedded underneath the screen, but that was having difficulty, and there was also reports of it being on the back of the phone, so there's a few different routes that Apple could take. Aside from that, this new iPhone is also expected to have a glass design that will support wireless charging and fast charging, and an edge-to-edge -edge display, possibly with a ProMotion display like the new iPad Pro, and have 3GB of RAM and an updated processor. It would also come in limited color options to keep the boutique style, and also possibly have improved speakers, and come in 64 and 256GB storage options, and come in at a higher price. Also, Quo's report says that the non-high-end iPhone, the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus, may also feature a new glass design to allow for the wireless charging feature as well. What these new iPhones will and will not have is still not totally clear, but we are getting closer to the expected fall release, so not too much longer to wait. Be sure to let us know down below in the comments what you think of these rumors. Are you okay with Touch ID no longer being there? Let us know. I want to thank you all so much for watching and hope you enjoyed. I'm Mac Gonzalez with Macrumors, and I'll see you next time.